doesn't mean that Allah has hands, you sort of reference your own hand, he'll say, no, it's nothing like your hand. It's completely other. And they have, uh, ascribe the same logic to all of the descriptions of Allah. All of them. Which means that he has contradicted his own religion. By saying, by saying, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish by saying that we know, we know, we know by what it means for us to know. One second, this is, now I'm going to catch him out. Now I'm going to catch you out. Now I'm going to catch you out. So he's just argued in front of everybody that we know by what it means for a human to know what it means for Allah to know. But that means that Allah's knowing is an equivalent to human knowing. No, and there you go, no, no, and he contradicts no, no, no. himself. No. He now rejects his own logic. And that's the contradiction inside Islamic Kalam, inside Islamic theology. You want to talk about logic? What's your name? Bob. Bob the building. My name is Bob. Uh, I got a question. You said uh, Jesus Christ is God, God through the flesh, yeah? No, we don't say Jesus Christ is God through the flesh. We don't say that. So this is, this. can I give some advice? Sorry, God in the flesh. Can I, yes, God in the flesh. Yeah, that's better. So, Mary is yes. the mother of Jesus. Yes. Jesus is God through three. Uh, I'll be taking you back. God is, Jesus is, is not is God through three. We don't say that. But could you just zip it up for So, yeah. guys, yes, there is. for those, I, I would really oh, encourage and advise Muslims to not listen to other Muslims describe Christianity because they misdescribe it all the time. Zakia Knight misdescribes it. Shabia Ali misdescribes it. Mansour misdescribes it. Hashim man misdescribes it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Come and speak to a learned Christian. We Christians believe that God, the one God, the only God who is one within himself, has revealed himself as the Father, as the Son, as the Holy Spirit. Sorry? I didn't hear the question. I actually fail to understand that like, when you say he is revealed as three, what does that mean exactly? So, so what that means is that there is a distinction between the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and we can't confuse that distinction. But at the same time, the other track that goes along with that is that we can't divide, we can't divide, we can't divide God into three. Are they co-equal? Yes. Are they co-equal? Yes. Can they How can they? Jesus okay. say uh, only Father knows the hour. Exactly. Yeah. It's but a great. Equal to the yeah. It, Jesus should have it's a great question. You see, the word that is used for no in that sentence the, in the Greek is used by Paul in in his writings using exactly the same word when he talks to what one of the churches, ancient churches, and he says, "I." desire that you should only know Christ crucified and Christ resurrected but the thing is that 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 knowledge there is is talking about what they what they possess in what they apprehend it's not saying to them that that is the only thing that they know it's not it's not talking about knowledge in the way that we're thinking about it it's talking about it in the sense of what it is right for them to know at that time so it's about what they what is appropriate for them to know as opposed to saying what they can know and what they can't know so the word is used in another sentence in another part of scripture and so when christ says no one knows but the father what he means is it's not his prerogative to tell you it's the father's prerogative to tell you so therefore he not, doesn't know ah, no 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 it's not about know. not knowing he doesn't know. it's not about what you're doing is what you're what, we, what you're doing right uh, the game that you're playing right now is you're doubling down on the english and you're ignoring the Greek. No, I'm going by what you just said. So well, then you didn't understand what no, I said. No, you just the said you have just elaborated. Yeah. Is that like, like sort of misconception in in translation? Because ah, the way I get it is, is Jesus is saying only I Father knows the hour. Well, as we saw earlier with my esteemed colleague, many words have a common set, a, a common man's understanding that is not the understanding of the academics. And this is one of those examples. The word no in the Greek 
is not simply about things, knowledge that you possess or don't possess. It can also refer to things that you are allowed to say and that you are not allowed to say. Oh, so that really needs permission from the father. In other words, it is the... No, no, no. It's the, it is the fact that the father alone is the one that is going to give that information. It's yes. not... Therefore, Jesus should know that. He should know that. He should know that. He should know that. He should know that. Saying it doesn't. He should tell. No, no, if they are co-equal, no, if they are detail. If it's not, he's because they're co-equal. Because they're co-equal. No, it's not. He just said that. You just said they're co-equal. So the father not should know the hour. The son should know the hour. The Holy Spirit should know the hour. Ignoring the definition that I've given. It's not knowing in the sense of what your definition actually confirms what we're saying. Well, what you're highlighting is the fact that you don't know the Greek. Not hang on. You've actually educated us, and you've actually affirmed what we say. So it's not in the prerogative. It's not. It's not. It's not in the. It's not in the prerogative of Jesus to mention the hour. I'm gonna ask you a very simple question. Yes, sir. Why your God needs a son? He doesn't need a son. He is Why the father. Why he have a son? Okay, sir. If you ask a question, you got to listen to the I am Messiah. I am Messiah. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to raise. Hallelujah. Raise my voice. I am Messiah. So the brother asks. Why is it that the father needs a son? Why does God need a son? Why does God need a son? So the brother asks. Why does the father? Why does God need a son? We Christians don't even have that as a concept in our religion. This kind of thinking comes from an error inside the Quran where the Quran mistakenly thinks that the only way God can have a son is if he has a woman. We Christians don't have such a simplistic you don't have way of thinking you don't have like a Bible. the Quran's orthodox. And you say it's a Bible. Kind of you don't have a Bible. ジーズ、ネバーロードバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールドバイブルゴールド
determined. He was the one who actually put together all the machines. And he determined 